Hello and welcome to Coffee Break. Five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, and we are currently in the book of Psalms here on Five Minute Coffee Break. And we come today to Psalm 60, beginning in verse number six. Psalm 60, verse six, the Bible says, God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and measure the valley of Sukkoth. When God speaks victory, his voice prevails. When God speaks def defeat, his voice prevails. You know why? It's because the Bible says that God's word never comes back to him void. It never comes back empty. It always accomplishes what it sets forth to do. That's why in the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And everything else he said came to pass too. I love God's word. I love it. It's always reliable 100% of the time. That's why I teach the whole counsel of God and been doing it for 35 years. I remember going to uh, school in Madison. And uh, this is a secular course down in Madison. This was like in the late 70s, 76, whatever it was, <clears throat> 77. And listening to a professor give a, a lecture for 45 minutes, I wouldn't even saved. But I listened to him for 45 minutes. And it was kind of boring to me. But then to top it all off, at the end of his lecture, 45 minutes, I sat and I listened to that, listened to that. He concluded by saying, I think. I remember, I, I put my fist down on my desk, I was so frustrated. I just spent 45 minutes listening to a professor pontificate on this, that, and the other thing. And he finished it all up by saying, I think. In other words, I'm not sure anything I said was absolutely true. I'm unsaved, but it bothered me. So when I found out that the Bible was true, um, whatever it was, six years later, five years later, my goodness, I never turned back. I've got truth. I love truth that I know is truth. And when God speaks victory, his voice prevails because his word is truth and it's loaded with power. Well, I got off on a tangent there a little bit, but for a purpose, because the voice of trouble is sometimes very loud, right? We can all testify to that. The voice of concern, the voice of trouble, the voice of opposition can be very loud sometimes and very disturbing. But the voice of God is able to squash it when we pray and when we meditate on his word. Notice <clears throat> verse number seven. We're in Psalm 60. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. God says that out of the Israelite tribe of Judah will come his lawgiver, will come his scepter. And that's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. Because out of the tribe of Judah arose the messianic line, which culminated in the Lord Jesus Christ. Man's authority ends when they try to command someone to do something that is contrary to what God's law giver commands, namely in the written word of God. It will fail every time. Verse 9. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O God, who hadst cast us off, and thou, O God, who didst not go out with our armies, give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. God, God may use things, he may use people to bless us, to take care of us even. However, when we look 
to those things, when we look to those people, when we put our trust in those things or people that God may use, we will learn that they are worthless without God's blessing. Worthless in the wrong, long run, that is for sure. Man's help is useless if it doesn't have God's blessing. And I'm going to stop right there. Study the whole Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, pray for me, pray for God's word. Click the donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.